Good morning. You're listening to WIFO FM Jess, a big dog country, 105.5 FM. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by First Southern Bank, Vans Barbecue, Murphy Builder Supply, and O'Quinn Associates. Hi, I'm Mandy Yalmans. And I'm Raymond Brown with First Southern Bank. As your locally owned community bank, we're here to help our community grow. Our customers are why we are here. You can tell we want your business. We offer all types of deposit products, personal and business. We have fast, efficient service, and yes, we have online banking too. I'm sure we have an account to fit your needs. Stop by or call us at 912-588-1010 and see how First Southern Bank can help you. FDIC Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to barbecue, Vans Barbecue and Jessup is the place to be. A small family-owned business located at 1876 on the Savannah Highway. Vans Barbecue has lunch and dinner specials. Stop by or call to make an order. The number to call, 427-3358. Vans Barbecue's new manager is Sarah Van. Vans Barbecue offers potato salad, coleslaw, baked beans, and don't forget their delicious mac and cheese. Also, check out their shrimp plates, the best in town. Yes, when it comes to the barbecue, head to Vans Barbecue, locally owned and operated. Stop by and tell them the big dog sent you. Once again, the number to order, 427-3358. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Are you looking for an insurance company that you can call and talk to a live person? Are you looking for an insurance company where you can walk in and talk to an agent? Are you looking for an insurance company that offers multiple companies so they can try and get you the best rate? If you said yes to any of these, then you need to call or come by Oakwin and Associates Insurance Financial Services. We offer multiple companies so we can find the best fit for you. Give us a call at 385-1000 or stop by our office at 212 South Fair Street right here in Jessup. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. World famous. The world famous Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob show right here on WIFO 105.5 FM and Jessup Big Dog Country Radio. Good morning, Bob. How you doing? You're doing good. Doing good. Well, yeah. first round of draft last night. And um, some teams, I guess, did good. Some didn't. But everybody's excited about their new player. I'm excited. Pittsburgh went and got offensive tackle Broderick Jones from Georgia. I like that. I like yeah. when Steelers get a Georgia player. Philadelphia loves their Georgia players. They picked two in the first round. They, they got did. Jaylen, Both of them they from Jalen Carter and Noah Smith. They already got two players. They got Nicobe Dean and uh, Jordan Davis. So they got to have four Georgia defense players. they keep it up, it'll be UGA they're, North. They're smart. They're watching <laughs> college football. They say, if Georgia got a defensive <laughs> national championship defense, we'll put it in the field and win a Super Bowl. Oh, That's boy. pretty smart to get four players from the same team on the on the defense side of the ball. So. Amazing, isn't it? They have four Small. players on the defensive side oh, of Philadelphia yeah. going to be playing together. That's something yeah, else. And the big question is where Stetson going to go. Like I said, Kirby did a good job yesterday promoting him. They asked him point blank what they're going to get in Stetson. He told him, he said, look, you're going to get a winner, a guy that played in the pro offense for two years and can dissect defense with the best of them, can make plays with his legs. So, and look at his hand. Two national yeah, championship yeah, rings yeah. right there. Hopefully, hopefully he goes <laughs> – not sure if he goes in the second or third round, but you know he should go sometime Saturday. So, but yeah, a lot of quarterbacks went early. Like I said, they uh, did, didn't they? Bryce Young went like they expected him. C.J. Stroud went right after that, and then Anthony Richardson went four to Indianapolis. So Will Levis, the Kentucky quarterback, was supposed to go round one, but didn't go. But he's expected to go today. So the I guess Tennessee the Florida quarterback, quarterback was that good well, going that first round. They, Apparently, he must be. They just like his size and strength and speed. You know, they they compare. He just has that physical they, thing. Yeah, they, they can they, they can ride, mold. They compare him okay. to Cam Newton. So okay. you know, they think they can. All right. Uh, as far as athletic build, he's you know he's he's got all the tools. So you know, the question is, can he take it to the NFL level? Yeah. I mean, how patient question. will they be? They got Gardner Minshew. They said Gardner Minshew may start, and he just learns under him. So okay, time will tell. I mean, all these people get. You know, they pay them so much money, they get antsy. You know, they want them on the field early. So, 
Well, not like the old days where they used to, you know, take three or four years right. to develop yeah, a quarterback sit, yeah, under a mentor right, in a right. sense. Right. Used to sit there for years. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, two, uh, three years at least before he got on the field. Learned before they yeah. got out there. Now you just want to throw them out there. Yeah, everything's changed. Like I said, years ago they never played freshman football players, but now they all play as freshmen. Mm-hmm. So well, it used to be freshman teams, remember? Right, so, you know. When I went to Georgia, remember, Georgia had a freshman team. I mean, it wasn't 1980. I still remember Herschel showed up and he, you know, he didn't start. You know, he did Tennessee. not start. They were down 15 2. And so I said, You might want to put that boy in. And he led him to a 16 15 win in the national championship. Put that <laughs> big footprint on that the Tennessee's defender's right. chest. But I remember being there. He, he just didn't look good at practice. You know, he, he wasn't a practice player. He wasn't uh, a practice player. Uh, he didn't look good at practice. I mean, he didn't look at him, you know, when he first arrived. You know, he, he just didn't. Looked like he was going to be the Herschel Walker that he turned out to be. But, wow. Well, well then, you know, once, he was in what A once, or double A or once, something like once that. The light, that. Once the lights came on and they put him out there, the rest is history. But I heard a story that you know when he they were handed him the ball in practice and uh, you know, Meek Cleaver hit him right there in the middle of the line mm-hmm. and just put him on his behind. He said, "Welcome to college football. <laughs> You're not playing these one A schools anymore." Mm-hmm. But. Yeah. It's you just know what happened. I'm telling you, NFL. I mean, they you got to give them credit for a bargain. I mean, that that scene last night, can I mean, the people. I mean, that place was the mob scene. I mean, they, I mean, where was it? At Kansas City. Kansas. I mean, oh, just, that's right, Kansas City. It was outside. It's just amazing that I mean, they got thousands and thousands of people watching this draft. So I mean, they just they stay in the news. But the all marketing the time, department in NFL does yeah, a great job do, keeping them in the news. They keep them in the news all throughout the seasons. But it was a nice event last night. They said rounds two and three this evening, and then. The rest of the draft on Saturday. So, well, you listen to the, uh, the, the to the talk shows the, on, on like our radio station Fox Sports thirteen seventy and and other uh, radio talk shows and television all year long. Over even in the off season, sixty percent of the talk is about football. Even though you got baseball going on right now, you got NBA playoffs going on right now, you got uh, hockey playoffs going on right now. If you tune in. Of course, today is going to be because of the draft. But you know, it, there's always NFL always keeps their names in front of everyone, and p- apparently, people want to hear more about NFL football than they do anything else. I think the Falcons got a great pick. Uh, that running back out of Texas, I mean, they got to be happy with that. Mm-hmm. Best running back in the draft. So the Falcons just didn't waste any time with that pick. They just will take him. So seems like NFL teams are starting to say, you know, we just may want to run the ball again. Uh, you know, we were, in years here it's gotten away from it, but it seems like the last couple of years people have, uh, the, the teams have picked up on that. You've got to have that balance attack. And what about the Jackson Jewel Jaguars? Well, they got that offensive tackle to protect uh, Trevor Lawrence. So know? they got a big old that, guy that, up that, front. That movie Blindside. You got to have protect that, his blindside. Yeah, that's right. You got to have that guy protect him. So three hundred and fifty yeah, pounds worth that, of awesome you know, out there. You got that franchise quarterback. Got to pick. You know that's what Pittsburgh did. They went and got Broderick Jones to protect uh, Kenny Pickett. You know, so mm-hmm. you got to have that lineman to protect that quarterback. So you got that right. The Jaguars got the kid out of Oklahoma. So how do you think Bryce is going to do in the NFL? He's not that big of a guy. You think he's, he's, he's got? You know, he's got the athletic ability. I think though. he's talented. No, I just don't. You know, the question is, you know, I mean, it, it didn't stop Drew Brees. You know, Drew no, Brees, it didn't you stop. Know. You got Fran a few. Tar- of still, I still remember of- Fran targeting. So, I mean, Bryce Young's smart. You know, he's coached by the, one of the best coaches around in Saban. I'm sure he learned a lot. So, I mean, okay. I, I, I wish him well. He seems like just a great kid. Watching his interviews, I mean, yeah, I he just he seems well. like a class yeah, act. I hope he does so, well. I'm pulling for the kid to do well. You know, but he's with Carolina, so you know, he, uh-huh. there's a reason Carolina picked number one. <laughs> they don't, have, you know. <laughs> so you know, that's the thing you're going. You know, but Troy Aikman tells that story. You know, he went to the Cowboys when they weren't. You know, he, he lost every game the first year and then turned into big Troy Aikman. So, well, they, you know, they, they, Jimmy Johnson got a lot of good guys right. in there and 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 put so, a lot of talent there in the first but, after the second uh, year. But I mean, NFL scouts. You know, He's going number one. It's for a reason. Everybody had him at number one at the board, sir. So. Well, that's what they talk about. Is you know, you got uh, Bryce Young at Alabama with all that talent around him. You got C.J. Stroud at o- uh, at Ohio State with all that talent around him. You know, they they're going to do well. if They got some talent. How well are they going to do on these last place NFL teams is the big question. Hard to believe all the year saving big coach. That's his first and number one draft pick overall since he's been at Alabama. You got to be uh, kidding me. Right. That's his first. This is the first time first that time Alabama players player. been. Chosen so, since he's been coach. Yeah, number one overall. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, they've got, yeah. they've had some horses come yeah. out of there. Bryce Young, um, Saban was there. He looked good. His hair color looked better than it did 
they had a TF, did you see that press conference they talked about his hair no, color? No, no, no. Is he uh, messing around with the color yeah, of his hair? Yeah, you know, when you get that kind of age, you know, just, just let it go. It's like me. Okay. Just let it go gray. I mean, what are you trying to fool? You know, just. They had a talk show. This guy, they were talking about his hair color, and this guy called in and said, I know what the problem is. He said, that Alabama's already celebrating the national championship practice, so they're, all that Gatorade in his hair is it's hard to get out. <laughs> He said they're doing. He said they're, they're doing. Practicing the yeah, they're practicing the Gatorade. They're practicing the Gatorade bath. That's what you got. That's what's wrong with his hair color. He's got all that Gatorade in his hair. Uh, but he looked good last night. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Hard to believe he's still. I mean, he's still coaching. Still uh, coaching. Still going at it. They still said they don't have a quarterback, so they went and got a quarterback from Notre Dame in a they transfer did, portal. They? Yeah, so, the portal. And they're crushing him about that, saying he doesn't have. You know, so uh, it's amazing. You know. Anything you do, Bob, even, somebody's even, going to criticize die hard, it. Even diehard Alabama fans are calling in and saying, it's time for him to think about leaving. <laughs> no, <laughs> no way do you want him to go. I mean, look at what he's put together there. I mean, who are you going to get? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. though, no, no, no. Uh, so he's going to be under a lot of pressure this year, like I said. But I tell it's you not what, what you done for me. It's what for yeah, you. That's what I'm saying. What are you doing for yeah, me today? Exactly. But yeah. LSU's got a heck of a football team. So, it'll be interesting. College football will be here for you know what. But uh, Alabama, I was just – it's just watching these this one talk show they call in these Alabama fans. I mean, they bombard this show, but they the diehard Alabama fans are crushing this move, bringing this Notre Dame quarterback to Alabama. You know, he hired the offense coordinator for uh, you know Tommy Reese came to Alabama. He's going to be the new offense coordinator. So right, where's from he Notre, from Notre Dame? Right. So Notre Dame, he went and got one of his former players to come right transfer. So whether he wins the job or not, that'll be the big question. But apparently that's the big story in Alabama. They don't have a legitimate quarterback. They're looking for their quarterback of the future. And okay. After Bryce Young, who you gonna who's gonna step in and, for Alabama? Well, I guess they'll find someone. They'll find. Well, yeah, they'll apparently, find someone. Apparently, Tommy Reese wants the boy from Notre Dame. He certainly <laughs> so, does. He's got him. Yeah, he's got him. Uh, luckily, George don't have that. Doesn't have that problem. We no, know we got. We've got pretty much set on Carson Beck. Just gonna step in and be the quarterback. So. Plus, they got two other quarterbacks behind him, so the quarterback room looks pretty good at UGA. Yep, yep. Anything surprise you in the uh, in the draft? I was surprised the uh, the former Georgia Tech running back uh, and running back of Alabama, Jamar Gibbs, went as high as he went to the Lions. I don't think anybody expected that. I didn't see any of that on the draft boards, but uh, the Lions already got DeAndre Swift from Georgia, and now they got Jamar Gibbs from Alabama. So, a talented running back. He's a game breaker, but. I think that was the big surprise in round one. You know, Jalen Carter dropped, and I think people he expected him to nine, drop. You know, so that accident and I said that just cost him. But like I said, he landed in a good spot. Like I said he's going to a team that has former players. You know, he's got three of his teammates. And he's going to the yeah. Eagles. Right. I mean, they're they're yeah. a playoff yeah. team. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Jalen Hurst, quarterback, so they're in good shape. But but the, you know, he lands in a good spot. He goes to where he's right. You know, right. Like I said, they went and got Nolan Smith as well. So. His current teammate, two of his former teammates, I mean, four guys from Georgia on the defensive side of the ball are going to play on the same team. So right. he landed in a good spot. Plus, right. he's a good player. I mean, Mel Kuyper. Yeah, they, they'll say they will get him in shape. Yeah, Mel, him Mel Kuyper go. had him listed as the best player on the, in, the, in the draft. So. so hopefully he can put all that behind him. But it's amazing. I don't want to know what these guys pay on for these suits. You know, these, these, some of these suits, I'd just like to know what the price tag is. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are well dressed when they walk across the stage. No, nah, they're just not suits. They are tailored suits. Tailored uh, suits they are uh, tailored suits. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't buy them off uh, the rack. <laughs> I wonder what that cost. <laughs> it's a pretty good penny, don't you think? I'm sure it is, Bob. Yeah. I'm sure it is. But they're on national TV. I'm sure they want to look good. So of course they do. Yeah, you gotta mm-hmm. look good. Their handlers are saying you gotta look good. You gotta look good. <laughs> Their agents. I know who can fix you up good. All right, so the, uh, the the draft had it, and when will they do again the draft? Tonight. This tonight. Rounds two and three tonight. Okay. And then, then they do the rest of the draft on Saturday. How many rounds start. do they have? Eight or nine. Something ten, like that. Seven, but two and yeah. three are tonight. Two and three are tonight. Yeah. Okay. All right, so perhaps maybe Stetson will go in one of those this evening and we'll know by Saturday or mm-hmm. by late to mark tonight. Yeah. And so let's get to Wayne County baseball. You know, looking at the weather forecast, that's – Three o'clock is not looking like a good, real good time right now, but it's sixty percent chance. So we still have that forty percent chance that maybe it'll miss us. But it's ninety percent chance tomorrow night. Basically, the weather will get worse as the day goes along. I got you. Okay, 
Um, you know, things should be pretty decent for the golf in the morning, but you just never can tell. It's like yesterday. You know, so we talked about that yesterday morning. You got these bands of showers and thunderstorms coming through. You know, hit for a while and then go away and hit for a while. And it's just a matter of when they hit us and how hard they hit us. And then Sunday is supposed to be like windy, breezy, high of 77 with a 50% chance of that front moving on out, bringing us a very breezy conditions on Sunday. So we'll see you tomorrow. You know, you just you, you won't know until first pitch tomorrow. I'm just glad we're at home. Yep, three because, o'clock tomorrow. Because I mean, if say Perry comes tonight and it pours down rain tomorrow, and or they do, they go back to Perry on Sunday. I don't Sunday think they come, come back tonight. Monday. That's what the word I heard. They're coming. Why out. would they come tonight? I mean, they got they don't. I mean, they're only like you know two and a half hours away. Why wouldn't you come in the morning? You're not playing at three o'clock in the afternoon. I just heard they're coming Friday. Is what I heard. Well, I'm just surprised. Some teams have lots of money. Yeah, you have plenty of time to, to, to get up, come here, eat some lunch. You still got several hours before the first game, first pitch, you know. But, um, you know. A lot of people, a lot of coaches don't like that bus drive. It takes a lot out of their, you know, small yeah. bus. Some, they just like get here, get a motel room, get up, go to the ball field, be ready to go. So. Yeah. And then sometimes they like having – keeping an eye on all the players the night before. Where if they're at home, you don't know what they're doing yeah, until true, they too. leave the next morning. So, you know, it's just like I remember going when I was at Georgia, Vince Steele used to take all those players to that motel there at Five Points. Right. That's where they went. Five, you remember the, that hotel that was there at Five Points? That's where he took them on Friday night before the Saturday night games. So he could keep an eye on them. And I'm sure that Kirby does the same thing with whatever hotel they use now. So the good news is that that field takes a lot of it can take a lot of rain, you know. So they got the tarp covered, so you know. Hopefully, we can get them in. You know, looking for a big crowd tomorrow, three o'clock. Should be a lot of fun. Like I said the golf tournament is set in full. Eight fifteen. All that. Eight fifteen is the tea time. Tea time, and it's a fundraiser for the athletic department of Wayne County right. High School, right? All the, all the proceeds go to the Wayne County Athletic Department, so okay. that's what it's for. So, but it's a full field. Full field. That's yeah, good. 20 teams, four-person scramble. So should be a lot of fun tomorrow at Pine Forest Country Club. Okay. Looking forward to it. All right. Sounds good. Anything else going on, Bob? Uh, the uh. Golf team's in action today. That's oh, they the are? Where are they today? They're over in Pierce, weatherman permitted at 3.30. So they're playing at Lakeview Golf Course. So, And hoping to get some results. They had the region track meet here last this week but i haven't got any results yet hopefully we'll get that over the weekend and see where wayne county yeah i saw i saw the I, I didn't see the meet but i saw the tent cell set up yeah, there the uh, region track they had a lot of rain yesterday too so i'm not sure what all got right finalized what didn't get finalized but wayne county hosted that region three quality track meet here at, at wayne county okay all right okay. let's see looking forward to tomorrow should be fun let's hopefully get him in did you, you, did you hear that uh, Jerry Springer died? I did hear that Jerry Springer died. Well, he had a wild coming. show, didn't he, for all those years? I mean, yeah. Everybody says that's a Jerry Springer moment right there when they're talking about, you know, you hear people say that all the time, you know, about their families. We could be on the Jerry Springer show. That's a Jerry Springer <laughs> moment right there, you know. <laughs> all those families on Jerry Springer have nothing on us. <laughs> Uh, then he he was mayor at one time, and, you know, then he became, after the Jerry Springer show, he was a judge. And that's the last thing he was doing for employment. But, uh, uh, boy, some entertaining shows he had for all those years. I mean, it became a household thing, a Jerry Springer moment. Yeah. Did you ever watch any of those? Unfortunately, Unfortunately, you did. <laughs> it's like Actually, one of those yeah. guilty yeah, pleasures. It's kind of you know? like, like WWF. You had to, you know, once yeah, you tuned in, it. once you tuned in, it's hard to turn off. <laughs> boy, I thought my family was crazy. I just, the, the people that had the best, the tough jobs were those. He had the guys on stage. The bouncers they, type yeah, guys, the security. Had to, they, had to, they had to decide whether they're going to step in before they slapped one another. <laughs> you know, I, I, was, I was curious to see when, how far do they let it go before they step in and say, oh, that's enough. That's enough. That's not good on TV. So, but yeah. he had like two or three of those guys up yeah. on stage just in case things went haywire. Yeah. Had to have him up there. You don't know how far a thing was going to go, how much of it might have been staged, or how much the you know people might have said you know knew they were going to be held back and try to go to somebody, but knew the security was going to hold them back or something like that. But uh, it's it's a shame. Oh, you, this is Coach Max. Hey there, you got any late breaking news? 
<laughs> what the all right, Coach Max on the phone right now with Bob. Let me see if I see any text messages that are coming. All right, let's see here. Last night, last night on the nine one two Sports Banquet, Antonio Warbay was named Large School Golfer Player of the Year. All right. Somebody just texted in that last night at the 912 Sports Banquet, Antonio Warbe was named Large School Golf Player of the Year. They, you know they had the 912 Banquet last night? I did not. How did you miss that? You always go to it. They normally give me an invite, but I didn't get invited. Okay, what would you do this time, Bob? I had no idea. <laughs> Who was... did you make mad this time, Bob? That but was, it says, last night at the 912 Sports Banquet, Antonio Warbay was named Large School Golf Player of the Year. So congratulations to Antonio. That was Coach McDonald. He says what the weather forecasts are talking about, moving the games up possibly. So it may That's, not start at I three. I thought they might do that. Up, so they said he thinks the golf term will be over by 12, so possibly 130, possibly tomorrow. But he hasn't finalized that, so we'll – Try to get the update today and pass that information along. Okay, so just notice, folks, the Mars doubleheader against Perry High School in the second round of state playoff action. Because of the weather tomorrow, first pitch is supposed to be at 3, but they may move it up to 1 or one thirty to get that in because that weather coming in tomorrow afternoon. That makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, I'm sure they got to get clear. Like, again, then again, is, there, what, is Perry coming tonight? They come tomorrow. So, <laughs> Who so. cares when they're coming? <laughs> We'll move it up to 10 o'clock when they're coming in the morning. <laughs> Y'all leave in the morning? Okay, first pitch, 10 o'clock. <laughs> you got that golf tournament. So. You got to get through that golf tournament, which should be through by noon. I would think. So. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, so. it's 8.15. That's three yeah. hours and 45 minutes. You should be able to get a golf tournament in the end. And it should be just the, just the coaches, right, involved with it? I mean, are, are, do you have people from the baseball team that's going to be at this, or are they just worried no, about the – they're just concerned about right, the people yeah. being able to go to the game? Right. Yeah. Right. Because I figured all the coaches all right. and the players and all that would be involved in getting prepared for all the right. yeah. double header, yeah. not anything to yeah. do with the golf yeah. tournament. None, none of the players, but the, you know, the athletic director, like you know, it's an athletic director. It's the money's for the athletic department. So right. Well, you've got an assistant athletic director. You know, let him handle stuff. You know, this this you know the double header is the most important thing. You got an assistant athletic director. Let him handle all the details of the golf tournament. You show up first thing in the morning with a big grin on your face and greet everybody and. Justin does, and then boom, over to the players and getting prepared for the game. That's how you handle it, Bob. <laughs> I'm in that golf tournament. I want to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get through my well, golf Well, you'll round. get the golf in. You'll get, get the golf, golf in. in. I don't know. Yeah, you, the, you don't know some of these golfers. Oh, they're slow, huh? Yeah. They're like PGA Tour, so, you know, you hope you can get it in. Yeah, but yeah. Some, you know, it's taking five minutes maybe, to line maybe up they'll, a maybe they'll, four-foot yeah. putt, huh? <laughs> there's there i won't name them. there's a few of them that are really slow i won't name no names no I've, names have been but i'm just telling there's some out there you kind of shake your head like but you've got you've got to get a hold of the 912 people to find out who all these i mean i wonder if anybody else from wayne county got anything so and now tony warbay is named the large school golf player of the year i can't believe you didn't know about that you always go to those things and report them i'm just just amazed Amazing. I mean, they drop off their magazines here all the time. Oh, well, Bob, you have a good day, and we'll see how things go for tomorrow. We'll pass all the information along to our listeners as soon as we know from Coach McDonald. All right. All right, the world-famous Butch and Bob show right here on WIFO has been brought to you by First Southern Bank, by Vans Barbecue, Murphy Builder Supply, and by O'Quinn & Associates.